early Friday morning, travelers sprawled out across PDX, many spending the night in the airport. It's been very long. I don't sleep well in, in airport chairs either. So. Yeah. Lines stretched across the hallways as travelers waited to learn whether they'd be booked on a new flight. Yeah, not going out to New York. Will Drews was headed east to visit his sister and newborn niece. Around 2 a.m., American Airlines officially canceled his flight. Said the, uh, the plane had been there so long that the crew had uh, reached their maximum hours they're allowed to work on a shift per day. Luckily, I live here, so I can just go back home and crash. I'm glad I'm not staying in town for the weekend. I have to deal with finding a hotel or something. Others, not so lucky. One couple traveling home to Texas was forced to spend the night in the airport. Uh, no rental cars, no hotels available. Because those companies also ground to a halt due to the tech outage. I have cried my eyes out since morning. I've cried my eyes out. In a statement, PDX says all travelers should contact airlines directly before flights Friday and says they're boosting staff too to help travelers. Still, passenger frustration was palpable. They don't care. I don't think they know what people go through. They don't care. What and I mean, another thing here too is just, China, you remember a few hours ago, these lines had tapered down quite a bit. They're, they're ramping back up. Still a lot of people either coming back to PDX or still trying to get on their flights here or try to schedule more flights. But hundreds of travelers are now back at PDX just waiting to find another opportunity to either schedule a flight. We also heard from people who said, you know, I'm flying to Minneapolis, but now I've got to go to Los Angeles first before getting to Minnesota or other stories like that. So still a sense of stress, exhaustion and overall frustration with this whole situation.